friends, Megan Elizabeth here with another Make It In Moments video. Today we're going to do a large chalkboard sign and we're going to customize it with some vinyl. So I'm just opening up and typing in the words I want to use in Cricut Design Space. And I'm going to be using this for my brother's wedding. It says, enjoy the moment with us. Please no cell phones or cameras during the ceremony. Very funny story to tell you at the end of this video because this is going up post-wedding. So I will be sharing that. Anyway, I'm typing it all in and kind of spacing it out just to get an idea. And I know I want more of a cursive font for enjoy the moments. So I'm just going to kind of go through. I love this DTC um, cottage font. I think it's perfect. Um, I'm just going to make sure I have the letters and then I'm going to unlock the proportions and I'm going to kind of stretch and morph it to fit the way I want it to look for this 12 inch by 18 inch sign. Then I'm clicking on the combined and then I'm doing unite instead of weld because unite is undoable as we've talked about recently. And then I'm going in for the uh, please no cell phones or cameras. I'm going to use this BFC clean kitchen, more of a like bold, not so cursive-y, like you can really read what this says without having to think about it kind of look. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to group everything together and then I'm just going to unite it so that it all cuts as one cut path that overlaps and is perfect. Then I'm going to do this on a cutting mat. So because I didn't weld this together, these are two separate like groupings and that's perfect to be able to do the large sign and to be able to just keep it on a 12 by 12 Cricut mat, which is what I really want to do. I'm doing this with um, this fun metallic vinyl. It does not need to be mirrored. I don't need to worry about uh, anything like that. But what I can do is I can move this around on the mat and place it exactly where I want to. So if I want it a little bit more centered, it'll help me out for transferring. Then I'm just going to select my Explore 3 as my accessory. As soon as it connects to it, we'll be able to uh, select the vinyl that we are using. And you can just type it in, type in vinyl, and you can look at the different kinds. This is a matte metallic vinyl that we're using for this. So it, I'm just going to use all the default settings and it will cut on two separate 12 by 12 mats, which is perfect for this 12 by 18 inch sign. I could use a large 12 by 20 format and do um, one large thing, but cutting it in two pieces to do this type of reverse weed really is perfect. So I'm just gonna cut this matte metallic down I already placed everything with this particular vinyl. It comes with a strong grip transfer tape. So you wanna use the transfer tape that comes with it. I'm placing it down on my cutting, on my mat, and I am placing it right on top of everything. Then I'm going to peel away, this is the reverse weed. So I'm gonna make sure it's really burnished down and I'm gonna peel away that backing sheet that everything is just on the transfer tape. And then I'm pulling out the insides of the letters. Um, so if it's the O, the A, R's, anything that's kind of cursive. And then I'm just ripping it away, ripping all the rest of the negative film away from the backing, or not the backing sheet, the transfer tape. I already removed the backing sheet and everything is already in place instead of trying to weed and then place. So this is the bottom part of the sign. I just kept the backing sheet to the transfer film on there so that I can reuse it, rip it right up, and it's still really good, easy to do. So I'm going to do it again. I'm going to place down that transfer tape right on top of the entire cutout vinyl, remove the entire backing sheet, and then start weeding away the insides of the letters and the whole outside of the, of the pieces. Um, I had a little hang up there, so I had to go grab the phone real quick and then came back to this. So, um... But here we go. So placing it down, lining it all the way up, and I just kept it still attached so I can reuse this again. Now, one of the things I decided, because there's some space, I'm gonna take this excess that I ripped away, I'm placing it back onto its backing sheet and grabbing a regular paper punch. I'm gonna cut out two hearts with a regular paper punch. Great way to use the excess before throwing it out because you can see there was just enough there. And then placing both of these hearts right onto the vinyl and how perfect does that look? Now I made this sign for my brother's wedding, but my older, my, the older of the two brothers, I'm still the oldest, was not very happy that I decided to take a picture of him looking at his bride for the first time. So my dad took a picture of me holding the sign that I made. Hey, it's my brother's wedding. I'm the oldest. I can make some of the rules, right? <laughs> Thanks so much for uh, joining me for this reverse weed video. I hope that you enjoy the moments. I'd love to invite you into She Makes Club. As always, would you give a little subscribe, like, share to these videos? It really helps the channel out a ton. We have so much more to offer inside She Makes, and I hope to see you again 
really soon at Bye Megan Elizabeth and She Makes Club. Enjoy the moments. Bye-bye.